Of course. We all know what that is. It's a goby. And um, let me tell you a little something about the goby. Let's have a goby lesson here today. Uh, gobies are an invasive species. They're not native to more North American waters. They come from the Black and Caspian Seas. They were able to get into Canadian or North American waters by the bilge of ships that came in from those areas and they would dump their bilge waters in the St. Lawrence Seaway. Consequently, the uh, Great Lakes and various other tributaries became inundated with these, with these fish. They're bottom feeders and they're identified by the spot on the top of their dorsal fin and they've got, you see on their stomach there, they've got fused um, fins there. That allows them just to kind of sit on the bottom because they are bottom feeders. The other feature of the goby is, if I can get him to the camera, he's got frog-like eyes and a frog-like mouth almost. And his mouth is actually very strong. Uh, it's almost like a cartilage. Uh, usually he'll clamp down when you try and get the hook out of his mouth and it makes it very difficult. It's illegal to possess a goby for anything other than if you catch it, you have to take it off the hook and then dispose of it. Uh, one of the things that these fish do carry, or they found that they carry, is a strain of botulism because they eat the zebra mussels, which is a plus because that's an invasive species too. But other fish eat the gobies and so do water birds and they unfortunately are not immune to that strain of botulism so there's usually, um, there can be quite a bit of die off um, because of it. Now these fish are prolific eaters, so you throw him in the rocks, uh, they become fertilizer. They're uh, prolific eaters and breeders. They can breed uh, two to three times in one season and that's why in the first ten years that these uh, fish got into the water system here in North America with less than 10 years their population quadrupled and they can be now found unfortunately in other war inland water systems such as here in Lake Simcoe um, they're in the Holland River uh, they can be found in um, the parts of the autonomy up in the Trent water system they're just all over the place so if you catch them, you take them off, you dispose of them. Don't uh, keep them for um, bait. You can't use them for bait, either live bait or cut bait. It's illegal. It's a big fine if you're found doing that. Just throw them into the rocks and let Mother Nature take care of them. And that's a goby fish. And that's our lesson for today, boys and girls. Well, y'all come back now, you hear?